Hello everyone, welcome to another watercolor tutorial. We're going to be using a really neat canvas today. So instead of using watercolor paper, I am using just a wood slice that has uh, this watercolor medium painted onto it that basically makes the surface paintable in watercolor. So um, I think that's pretty neat. You, you don't have to have this to paint this painting in particular. Um, I just thought that I would try something new and you can use just a regular piece of watercolor paper. So I painted uh, something similar to what we're going to be painting today on a wood slice. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, it's on there so you can see what that one looks like. And if you don't, what are you doing? Why have you not followed me yet? Uh, I'm just kidding. Um, but yes, I did post it on there. So anyways, we are going to start by painting our little pathway, our dirt pathway. So whether you have a wood slice or you have a watercolor piece of paper, uh, we're doing the exact same thing. And so you want to imagine that you have a horizon line here. So just paint sort of, I would say this looks like a Santa hat or a witch hat that doesn't have anything on the bottom or the top yet. So that's how you can shape your pathway here. And I do want to add some details onto this before it dries completely. <clears throat> so I'm going to take some green and just go along. So it's green mixed with a little bit of black and I'm just going along the border of my pathway. Uh, and this is because my pathway is going to be bordered by a grassy forest. And so I want there to be a natural transition from the pathway to the grass. So I'm just adding that green so that we have that natural transition. And I'm even adding some little outcrops of green. To make it a little bit more realistic looking. And we can go over that a little bit more in detail later. We just wanted that nice seamless transition between the brown and the green first. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just cover this area. I'm going to switch to a larger brush. So I'm just going to cover this with a green. Just so that that green on the side of our pathway doesn't dry and then we have an even harsher transition there, so. So I'm just filling this horizon area in. And just before I do that completely, I do want to add just some background trees growing here that are going to be very, very light. And I'm making them light because I want to make them look very faded in the distance. So what I don't like here is I wanted this pathway to curve around a little bit more. Like I want it to fade into the trees. So I am going to just add some uh, 
brown that continues on this way. And I'm going over my pathway again as well, making it a little bit darker. And now I'm going to begin painting my pine trees on the sides. So I'm going to take a variety of green, mix them together. And I'm going to start with a pine tree up here. And I've been experimenting with this kind of new, really blotchy method of painting pine trees. And it's a bit tricky to get right, because if you don't do it uh, well, then it's going to look very blotchy. It's, it's going to look just like a blob, like a three-year-old painted it. Uh, and uh, many of my trees have unfortunately looked like that so it will take a little bit of practice okay didn't turn out half as bad So I haven't really figured out how to explain this technique yet, uh, because it's much more of an intuitive technique. Like you, it's hard to explain, you just have to know how to move your brush. But I'm sure that there is some sort of way to explain it that, you know, anybody could understand what I'm doing. I just have to practice it a bit more to figure, figure that out, because I just started doing this. Uh, within the last few days, so I don't really know how to explain it quite yet. We will get there though. This is actually turning out not even half bad. I did not have high hopes because, again, I'm not sure what order I'm going to upload these tutorials in because I'm uploading several at once, but in the previous one, oh my gosh, <laughs> that looked nothing like what I started with and you guys are probably not going to enjoy that tutorial. Not that, like, the result looks really nice, but I just changed my mind so many times and I basically started from scratch midway through, so... I hope that it ends up, uh, you end up understanding what I did. Because there is no, like, step by step to it. It's just like, whew. This one, at least, you know, it's, you're following some sort of technique. By the way, right now I just grabbed my uh, Windsor Newton Quadruple Zero brush and I'm just adding some grassy details to the border of my little pathway. I am going to be selling these wood slices by the way. If you're interested uh, either comment below or send me some sort of a message, maybe on Instagram, and we can, I can put it on my Etsy account. These these little grassy details that I'm adding, it's mostly just to define the pathway, uh, because it blended a little bit with the grass around it. So that's why I'm doing that, but you don't want to do it, like here I did it way too much and it ended up not looking that great. So I'm just trying to fix that.
So yeah, what you're doing here is you're trying to achieve this really nice look just by layering over and over and over again. So that's what I'm trying to do here using this, you know, new effortless, nonchalant technique of painting pine trees. It's a lot faster. It's pretty neat neat look but it's easy to make everything look like a blob if you don't know what you're doing So that is looking quite nice. Um, I'm just trying to debate what I can add to make this section a little more defined. Because it's a little bit light for my liking. I might just add a little tree. I'm gonna fade that tree out a little bit. There we go. Okay. So I'm just debating what, what else I can add here. I think the pathway could use a little bit more uh, detail work, like more texture to it. So I'm just going to add some brown and black and hope for the best. <laughs> That's what I usually do. Just keep adding color until it looks right. Blending it all together. Alright, I think I'm happy with that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.